hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we will be doing a client makeup tutorial and here i'm just wiping off her face with the thayer's facial toner and i'm just cleansing her face and making sure it's all good nothing on left on her skin so now i'm going in with my primers and i use smashbox um and two benefit primers that i mix and this is always like my go-to mix especially smashbox by itself is really bomb it's the clear one but the benefit ones are amazing as well so now i'm going in and trimming up her brows just a little bit Next, I will be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. And it comes with a little spoolie on it. And it's like the twist-up kind. I got um, I got it because I seen Beauty by Melissa using it. And I love her, like, makeup looks. It works pretty good, in my opinion. It works really, really good, actually. Like, it don't matter if the skin is, like, it don't matter if the skin is anything oily or anything, like, that works it, it can't be too oily of course but it works better than other brow pencils i've tried and now i'm just going in with um some pro conceal and i'm just gonna spread it over the lid i was going for more of a neutral look it was a graduation so we was doing like basically like a natural type but like a little pop still so yeah so i'm going in i'm gonna sweep that all over the whole lid and try and get it still want it to be full coverage but you still want to get it you know flat and thin just so it's not clumpy and I'm just using the same one on the top of her brow because it was more towards her skin tone and now I'm about to go in with some um, revolution powder first I'm gonna take my beauty blender well that's a real text real techniques sponge and I just flattened it out just to make it an even service and surface. I'm sorry, y'all. And now I'm going in with the um, Revolution Powder. Okay, so after I put the Revolution Powder, I wiped it away. And now I'm using the It's My Ray Ray palette. And this is her, I believe this was her first palette. I think she only has two. I got both of them. But yeah, so I was going in with that orange on there. And I was just kind of going for like a, I know I was gonna cut her crease, so I was going for the just filling in that space. And then I went um, and blended it out on the corners with the yellow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I love the Jaclyn Hill palette. I really could have used that for this look too, but it's my Ray Ray. All her palettes are so, so pigmented, everything is quality in her palette palettes. Jaclyn Hills is too, but I like the It's My Ray Ray better. So yeah, so I'm just going in and blending it out, defining it a little bit. And now I'm going in and cutting my crease. And I'm cutting my crease with that middle top shade in the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. And that contour i mean that um concealers in that kit are so thick that and they just work really really well it's like i really i stopped i used to use it a lot but i stopped but i'm back using it like i love that concealer it's really really thick and i've had mines for like i've literally had my cream contour kit for like three years now seriously so it's worth the money the only thing I would say is just be careful because it's very, very thick consistency. And some people don't know how to work with that. But now I'm just packing on her lid the white, like the white highlighter out of the um, It's My Ray Ray palette. And I just packed that in on the concealer. And it gave it like a real nice like champagne-y kind of nice color. And then I went in with a darker brown well like a dark brown and then a darker brown on the edges just to smoke it out a little bit 
Now I'm going in and I'm doing her eyeliner and I'm using a MAC eyeliner. It's a gel liner and it's really, really good. It's so smooth and I'm using, but I'm using a liquid liner brush to put it on. But the, not the, like, not the hair ones, the stiff ones. Here I was just touching up her brows and I was um, basically adding, once I did a pencil already I didn't do anything else, now I was just adding a lighter brown and then a darker brown just to give it, you know, a few browns in it and just to set it and make sure it stays on. I just wiped away the excess shadow from the highlight and then I go across and just cut the uh, smoke where I want it with a skin color concealer. You can use whatever color concealer you want, but I just use the skin color because we were going for more of a natural, like, mini face beat. But yeah, so now I'm going in with her foundation, and I did use the Milani foundation. I mixed um, a darker one with the lighter one. It's actually the same mix that I use on myself, and I really, really liked it. Their foundation, I'm really thinking I might bulk up on these for my clients because... It looked really, really good. I have not found like a foundation that I really loved so, so much because I like to fit me, but it would get it would get a little oily on some of my clients. But this one right here, I'm really thinking that this is gonna be my go-to because it's affordable and it looks so bomb. It looks so bomb, you guys. It looks even better in person. So yeah, so here I was just touching up her brows again. I'm so picky with the brows. Sometimes I feel like I knock myself out the game when I just mess with them too much. But I can't help it. And I'm just going in with one of the browns out of the Jaclyn Hill palette. And that palette is great, you guys. It's just more you have to build up your um, color. But here I'm just setting her face a little bit with some of the um revolution powder and i was using the darker one not the lighter one i think it's um, medium to dark and that revolution powder is the truth i must say i love that product and the price point is great especially if you have to get it in different colors for your clients and here i was just doing a little blush i was using the bh cosmetics blush palette and that also is like one of my staples like that blush palette is bomb and their lip palette this is now i'm going in with their lip palette and that lip palette is bomb too y'all don't sleep on bh cosmetics because they have definitely have winning products for affordable prices i just hate ordering online but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes And then I'm using uh, my contour a little bit with Super's Con Constitution book. And I love that too. That product is amazing. Everything Super do is amazing. And now I'm also going in with Super's highlighter right here. And you can just see it just got her glowing already. Like, oh my God. She came out so pretty. came out so pretty. And I added on some, um, some of my short mink lashes I have. For my clients and now i'm going under her lid with the same uh first i smoked it out with a darker brown from the it's my ray ray palette and then i use my mac liner thank you guys for tuning in i hope you enjoyed this video bye